Okawika is situated in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt and we're also in Newfoundland. So we're currently drilling two of our projects. We just completed a 5,000 metre project on a drill program on our bazooka project. Now, where we're situated on the Abitibi Greenstone Belt, we're right next to Ron Naranda Camp. We're completely surrounded by Agnico Eagle and we're also continuous to uh, Yamada's Wasmac property. Now, what we've been doing in the last few months is we just finished a 5,000 metre program on the bazooka property. We drilled 22 holes. Uh, from that program, we had four of those holes come back with visible gold. So visually it looks great, but again, we're waiting on the assays. Um, we're, we're expecting them to have them you know, for this meeting. They're still not in yet, but obviously labs are a bit slow, um, but we should have them coming back anytime soon. Uh, we also have the Arrowhead project. Now the Arrowhead project is completely surrounded by Agnico. It's right next to the Laron mine, which is their premier number one mine. We've just, uh, we're about three, 4,000 meters into that program. Um, we just put out a news release. We hit some visible gold in a completely new discovery. So we're very excited about that. Um, and we should have assays going into the lab soon and hopefully get them back in the next six to eight weeks. So that's what we've got going over in Quebec. It's looking quite good. We also have uh, Newfoundland. We've got 40,000 hectares over there. We're slowly doing the work. Now we've got five assets in Newfoundland and we're looking to build them up to a drill ready stage. Now we don't plan to drill them all. Um, but we will choose uh, you know, three favorites out of them and we'll use the other two to capitalize the company. We've only got 41 million shares out, so we're very, very tightly held. Um, we've got the right shareholders involved like Eric Sprott, Goldspot and uh, institutions and, and we're looking for a very big year this year. The Bazooka and the Arrowhead property have been in the company now for many years. <clears throat> the, the last owner of the Bazooka was currently drilling. Now, gold at that time uh, was plummeting and it was very hard to raise capital. So we sort of got lucky. Um, they had another flagship property they were looking after and we sort of snuck in and did a deal with them and took that property from them. Uh, our Arrowhead property, Agnico Eagle used to own, but in 2008, uh, they dropped a lot of their assets in this region. Obviously, things weren't going too well in uh, 2008. Um, so we got in then and picked up that asset and been holding it ever since. So, um, you know, we're in an area we're very lucky to be in. We're completely surrounded by uh, majors, basically only billion dollar companies next to us. And there's little old Opawika sitting in there and we're slowly building some things up. So, you know, that's how we got the property. Now, the Bazooka property itself has had a bit of work done on it. It's had about 30,000 meters drilled and we have some really large intercepts on that property. So we have grades of 90 grams over five meters, uh, 20 grams over seven meters, 20 meters at seven grams, and we even have a meter at 316 grams. So we have some pretty uh, large grades there. So we've used that knowledge and we're off to expand. We're trying to build up a resource. As I said, we're right next to all the majors. You know, when major mines start to run out of ore, they always look to the areas that are close. And we're right next door and we're building up some high grade stuff here. So, you know, that's the plan. We wanna build these up with these drill programs. And then hopefully a major comes in and sweeps us up and, and we get bought out. So that's the plan with Opawika. Since I took over in 2020, we basically went straight to work. So uh, our financing we did, we raised $5.3 million at 40 cents. Then we ran it, went out um, and we raised money at 50 cents and then 55 cents. Our structure sets us apart from other companies. Uh, I think we're currently trading around 25 cents. So things are a bit down at the moment through the market, but we've only got 41 million shares out. All our warrants are situated at 60 and 75 cents. We don't ever have any five or 10 cent cheap paper to come back and hurt us. Um, so we're well funded. Uh, we've got the right shareholders involved. We're in one of the most prestigious regions in the world, which we know, which we know has gold. Um, just our area alone of the Abitibi, we have six active working mines within 20 kilometers of us. Uh, it's got, we've got power, water, um, so the infrastructure is already there. So it's not like we're helicoptering, you know, in the middle of nowhere to put a drill down. We've got the infrastructure, we've got the town. Um, so it's a lot easier for us. I think the market at the moment doesn't understand the opportunity. Um, you know, we're, we're waiting on assays on one property. We're currently drilling another property. Uh, it looks like we've made a, you know, a new discovery. Uh, we're in an area just full of elephants, you know, so it's not going to take much to, to really get us going. Um, you know, a couple of good assay results and we go from, you know, $8 million market cap to God knows where. So, you know, that does sort of set us aside um, from other juniors. We definitely have a lot of room to grow. 
um, and we feel this will be our year. We've got another couple of drill programs coming up. Uh, the company still has a couple of million dollars in the bank, so we're well funded. Um, so yeah, it, it should be a really good year for Opal Wigger. One of the best advice I've ever had is when everyone's fearful, that's the time to buy. Um, so like right now, the markets aren't looking the best, but I see this as opportunity. Um, so while everyone's selling, I look to try and take positions in as many companies as I can. Because as we know, the markets will turn around and when things go up, I'm well positioned. So that's some of the best advice I've ever had is when others are fearful, start looking. I think this year will be very good for gold. Um, you know, you're looking at the inflation levels across America, they're in all sorts of trouble over there. So I think as things right themselves up, we're gonna see a nice uptick in gold. Um, I think as summer comes through, uh, I think the juniors are gonna get another run. Majors are currently making a fortune right now with the price of gold. Um, if you look at their financials, they've got a lot of capital. So it wouldn't surprise me if you see a lot of majors come in and start to try and take over these juniors, because a lot of them are, are very undervalued at, the, at this point. So. Yeah, it should be a very interesting year for definitely the markets. Uh, I think commodities are going to do quite well. Well, it was back in 2019, actually. Um, I think it was the last PDAC I was at. Uh, it was a dance floor at the end. So uh, there was a couple of old fellas there and uh, they were getting quite excited on the dance floor. So it's always good to, you know, everyone gets their hair down and relaxes and, and enjoys themselves. So I do like that, that last dance type of thing. I think it's very important. Um, I, I, you want to see a, a CEO who is actually buying stock in their own company. Um, it shows the value, it shows the belief that they have, and that's something I've done. So over the last nine months, uh, I've spent around $400,000 Canadian in the open market, all SETI filed. Uh, at an average cost, that's probably about 50% higher than we're trading now. So it sort of shows how I feel about the company. Um, I'm here to you know, make a discovery and I'm backing myself by putting my own money into Open Weaker constantly. And I think you need to look for that when it comes to junior mining explorers, definitely.